Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid here and today we're going to talk about which sensors are compatible with a Simon system. Now today we have a Simon XT and an XTI set up. If you have an XTI 5 it's going to work just the same as these two panels and everything that we discuss will apply to the XTI 5. Now the Simon systems out of the box they're only compatible with sensors that work on the 319.5 megahertz frequency. These sensors uh, are sensors that are compatible with the system are obviously sensors that are made by Interlogix or Simon. But additionally, if you have any Qualsys sensors lying around, they also work on the 319.5 megahertz frequency and they will be able to be programmed into your Simon system. One cool thing about the Qualsys sensors is that if you have any S-Line sensors, which are the new encrypted sensors, they will also be compatible with your Simon panel. With this said though, the encryption feature that you will get if you use those sensors on a Qualsys system, that encryption will not work with the Simon system, but those sensors will be able to be used on your Simon panel. Now, let's say you're moving into a location and you're bringing your Simon system and there's another system that's set up, let's say a Honeywell system, and the Honeywell system has a whole bunch of wireless sensors all over the location that you would like to use with your Simon system. You won't be able to directly program those into your Simon system though because the Honeywell wireless sensors, they work on the 345 megahertz frequency. And as I said before, the only sensors that are going to work natively with the Simon system are sensors that work on the 319.5 megahertz frequency. But there are a couple things you can do to get the Honeywell sensors or other type of sensors to communicate with your Simon system and uh, you'll be able to program them in after adding a certain device. What you're going to have to add in that instance is a wireless translator. Now we have a few different options of these on our website. Uh, a basic one that you can use is called the Qualsys 345 translator. What this is, is the standalone device. After you install it, what it's going to do, it's going to listen for uh, frequency on the 345 megahertz range. And whenever it hears that, it's going to translate it and spit it out on the 319.5 megahertz frequency which will allow the system to pick that up. It's super convenient and in the instance that I described before if you're going into location and you have a bunch of Honeywell wireless sensors around the, the location you install your Simon system, you install this translator and then all those Honeywell sensors that do work on the 345 megahertz frequency you'll be able to be picked up by the translator and you'll actually be able to program them right into your Simon panel. There's another translator that's a little more versatile than the Qualsys 345. This is called the RE524X and it pretty much does the same thing. What it's going to do, it's going to listen for a wireless frequency and it's going to output a wireless frequency. The cool thing about the 524X though is that it has two knobs in it and you can actually set the input manufacturer and the output manufacturer. So let's say you want to do Honeywell again. What you'll have to do is you'll have to open the case, set the input to Honeywell and then set the output to Interlogix. What this is going to do is the exact same thing as the Qualsys 345 translator. It's going to listen for any signals that, that are on the 345 megahertz frequency. It's going to input them, translate them, and it's going to spit them out on the 319.5 megahertz frequency, which will allow you to program them right into your Simon system. There are a few other options, other options out there. If you are interested or you have any questions about wireless translators, the Simon systems, or how to get different sensors to work on your Simon or Interlogic system, feel free to contact us. You can head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.